So we're back to another worked example. Uh, this one's called Adder. Um, again, I think it's a good idea to read this bit in green, basically what I want you to do, and then pause the video and have a go at creating it yourself first. And then obviously go back to my video if you're not too sure what happened or if things go wrong. It's better to try it in your head first and code it yourself before watching videos like this. So, what I want to do is get a whole first number using the keyboard, then get a whole second number using the keyboard. I want to work at the sum of the numbers, which means add them together, and then show the answer on the screen. Now, I could type this. Um, in fact, you know what? I will type it. I'll type it um, in a way that it will definitely crash. Right? And then later on, I'll add in the try and accept idea, because I have to make sure things don't crash in coding. So I'll print some information here. Enter the first number, and I'll say here, whole numbers only. Just to let them know that's what I want. Now, I want to use the keyboard here, so I'm going to say I uh, first, spell it R I R S T. There you go. Why not? I R S T number equals int as a whole number, remember, and an input. There you go. So I'm saying make it a whole number. So if somebody types in a word there or a floating point value, it'll crash. Next one says get the second number with the keyboard. So I'll do that too. Oops, copied and pasted the wrong piece there. And I want to use a second number. So it's like the same code, but it's a little different uh, messages. Second number, and this will be second here. And then don't forget to save Control S lots of times as you go along. Ah, Control S here. I haven't saved this before. So same, what do you want to call this? So I'm going to call this adder, A-D-D-E-R, done. So that's that saved now as well. So let's run it. First number, second number, works fine. Let's run it again. Type in anything you want. I'll put a number in. Next one, I'll put in lots of gibberish, crash. So that means I need to try and accept in here somewhere. So I'll do it just now. I want to try this code. So if I have to indent it, we will try as. And then if anything goes wrong, Accept the code, make it go down here, put in some sort of suitable message. You need to enter whole numbers only. Basically, remind them again. Let's test that. I type in some gibberish, error message pops up. Run it again. Type in a proper number there, but then some gibberish, error message pops up. So it's basically trapping the error now. Now, I said get a whole first number, get this, get that there. I'm going to alter this, this little description to make much sense now. I'm going to say, try the following. Yep, because I'm basically saying that seems okay, but I want all these things to happen. And if anything goes wrong, if something uh, goes wrong, show her a message. There you go. So I've actually updated what I see here into something that makes a bit more sense now. So now when the bit says work, so it says work out the sum, so I'll do I sum equals, now you just add these two things together, I first number plus I second number. So I've added them both together, num bear, there you go, spell mistake. The next one says to show the sum, so I can do another print. The sum of the numbers is plus, now I could just do this, I sum, but we know that won't work because it'll crash out. Let's prove that by doing it. Two numbers together, yep, crashed out. Notice it didn't go red there because the, the, the trap's in place, the trap and the accept. What you do here is STR to make sure it appears as text on the screen. So 23 plus 45 gives you that. Oh, I've got another error. What have I done wrong now? <laughs> oh, soon find out. Let's see. Um, you know it's error popped up and I didn't spot it, but it came up with a try and accept instead. What you do now is try and debug this. So what I'm going to do is comment out the try and accept. This is something you do sometimes. I'm going to ignore the fact try and accept here just now. I just want to see where the error is and I'll comment out the error as well. So basically we'll run it as normal. So I'll try 23, 45, and it's telling me I've got a mistake here. 
Have I spelled something incorrectly? Yes, I have. Can you spot that? Look, I've said I second number here, but I've typed an I second number by a mistake, a spelling mistake. So that's how you find errors like that. Obviously, the try and the accept would they hide the fact I had an error there. I'll bring it back now the way it was. I might seem a bit pedantic, but you have to do these sort of things to test things out. Try again. Couple of numbers, no crashes, therefore it's working.